Oh, I apologize if I surprised you. Please, do not be alarmed. I'm a doctor in this hospital. I must say that this hospital is not an ideal place to take shelter. It's not as safe as it may look or sound. I myself have decided to get out of here as soon as possible. Oh, the bloody elevator isn't working. I'm trying to figure out why. It seems the electricity on this floor is entirely supplied by an auxiliary battery. See if this works. Things are that strange. If I keep walking, can I awake from this dream? I'm so tired, the smell of death won't go away. No matter how hard I try. It's not only because of that giant leech thing. The whole city has been plunged into the Bowser Hill. It's official. I hate insects. And if that weren't enough, my clothes and shoes are ruined from trudging through this damn sewer. But I guess that's a small price to pay for still being alive. I wonder how long my luck's gonna last. Terror is our constant companion. It lurks in the shadows, ready to strike at any moment. Today, it chose me. Yet, somehow, I kept it together in that suffocating hospital. I suppose I should be thankful for that. So, Raccoon City now belongs to the Boogeyman. Hardly any people left. We're not wanted. Fine by me. I'm out of here. Normally, I'd be loving this kind of thing. You know, everywhere I turn, there's a scoop. But none of that matters if you're not alive to tell it. Besides, mayhem has become the way of life here.
All I could do was run about trying to escape. I'm ashamed of surviving like this. And I feel I've forgotten something very important. But why? Perhaps the answer lies ahead. If this is a sewer, then I should be able to follow it to the city limits. I'll keep walking, just focused on that hopeful thought. Otherwise, I'll probably be consumed by fear. I should go one step at a time. 